Hey everybody, um, hopefully you're watching this video on Monday morning and hopefully you guys have had a good weekend away from school and all the other things that are keeping you uh, a little down so far. Um, what I want to do today is just go over the lesson plans with you, make sure that you're familiar with what to expect next week, talk about a few changes that we're going to be doing and a few changes that the district has made um, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, so this week was pretty good. I had everybody, um, except for about two students, submit at least something, which I think is pretty good considering we're in a weird kind of spot. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, I hope everything was clear. I hope that your other classes are just as easy. And if not, let me know what I can do to help and I'll do my absolute best. Um, some feedback that we got was that the workload was just a little bit too strenuous. And I don't know if they're referring to my class or math in general, but it was just some, some feedback that um, our administrators have have passed on to us. So um, we met as a math department last week, I guess on Friday, and we decided that we're gonna cut out an entire day's worth of material. Um, so let me just kind of explain to you what I mean by that. So last week for algebra, we did an assignment Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, moving forward, we're going to um, theoretically, you know, you choose to use this however you want to, make Fridays kind of a catch up day. So there will be no assignments added to your week on Friday. You'll basically have an assignment Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then Friday there will be no additional assignment added to that, okay? Um, this coming week, so week two of this digital learning is gonna be a little bit different. So technically we were supposed to be out of school on Friday. So now this week, we're going to only have three assignments for you to do this week. So you're gonna have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday is going to be your off day or your catch up day, so your, your Friday for this week. And then Friday is going to be your holiday, and so we're not going to give assignments. So let me just make this very clear to you. There are only three assignments this week, okay? Three assignments for week two, four assignments for week four. Um, that could change. We could add some for week three. We could take some away. We're just trying to do what's best for um, all of our families. Um, and I want you to hear this from me. I don't want to speak for any other teachers, but right now we are um, we're your advocates. We're here to help out with this. And um, do I think school is important? Absolutely. Do I think you should be doing these assignments? Absolutely. Um, but there are bigger things out there. And so I do want you guys to know that we are in this for the long term. We are here to help you and to support you. Um, and with that being said, you know, I, I understand things are hard. I understand there are some of you that have four kids at home trying to make them all work on computer. I get it. We're here to help. We just need your honest feedback and communication. Doesn't mean we're going to stop sending you work because we're not going to, but we will work with you and we will um, figure out the best um the best workload and best course. And I can speak that for all the math teachers. So if you've got any other students in a different grade level as a math department, this is going to be our, our plan and I'll make sure that that happens. Um, so I just hope you guys understand that. Um, another big change that came down from the district is we are moving to a pass or fail system. I added that link to my Google Classroom. So parents, if um, you have not seen that, I think I also sent it out in remind, please ask your children to pull it up for you. I want you to read over that. That would be a huge favor for me. I mean, if you have any questions about that, I'll be more than happy to go over it. From what I kind of gather is there's a rubric and basically it's going to be a completion thing. If you're completing the majority of your assignments, you're going to get the passing grade. And if you're not, then you're going to get that failing grade. So again, I don't know all the specifics. I'll be honest. I glanced over it. I skimmed it. I do plan on reading it this week, but I don't have all the answers at this current moment. Um, another addition that the district changed is instead of assignments being due on Friday at midnight, you're now going to have them until Sunday at midnight. Um, so every week moving forward, assignments will be due on Sunday at midnight. So let me just kind of explain to you again what's what the changes are this week. In algebra, we are cutting back an assignment. So you now only have four assignments. This week is only three, but in the future it'll be four. You're getting Friday as a catch-up day, and you're also getting the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, as um, additional as additional days to get caught up with your work. So essentially, you're going to have four days of material, three days of just catching up work. So I think that this is a pretty fair um, expectation, but again, I'm open to any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, again, students, parents, I got a lot of communication last week. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. So please send me emails, reminds, whatever, if you have questions. All right, let's get down to this week. Um, this week we have, um, domain and range and the whole focus is we're moving towards our last unit, which is exponential functions. I made a video for that. Um, but I'm not going to give you that video until the following week because, um, the way with a holiday and drop in a day. So just be aware of that. So Monday, you're going to review domain and range. Um, I've put two links up here. One is going to be a link to just kind of a website with some, some visuals, some information to kind of read over. And the second, excuse me, is going to be an assignment that we did as a class earlier in the year. 
to kind of look over. So I want you to look at both of those. Then there's a discussion board on Monday. And the discussion board, I believe, is just asking you um, what's the difference between a few different components of domain and range are, maybe quadratic versus um, linear and things like that. So I want 75 words. Um, for those of you that did not put enough words, I sent you a little private message and just said, hey, um, I need more for next week. So this week, the expectation is 75 words. Yes, you can exceed that. Um, and you must respond to one of your classmates. Okay, I don't care who it is. I don't care what it is, but I do want you to actually respond with... Um, with what they're talking about. Don't just say, hey, I hope you're having a good day. A response would be, hey, that's a very valid point. I agree with what you're saying. Or, hey, I appreciate you doing this, but I don't think you're right, and here's why. Make sure you're doing something academic in that. On Tuesday, you've got a quizzes. I want to say it's about 20 questions, and it just varies all over domain and range. Okay, I think you guys will do really well on it, but I want you to be aware of the domain and range before we jump into exponential functions. So Wednesday was going to be the exponential function video, but due to the fact that we are ending our week on Wednesday, it's going to be another review Google form. So I've added the link for the release star test questions. Okay, so they're on there. So you click on that. And then this week you're going to do questions six, seven, eight. You're going to skip number nine. I've made that very, very clear in the instructions, but I'm telling you here now as well. And then 10 and 11, so five questions. And then that's it for the week, y'all. Thursday, you're off. That's your catch-up day. Friday is a holiday. Saturday, Sunday is your weekend. Okay, so this week should be pretty straightforward. Um, I hope you guys do well. I'm here to help with any technical issues that we have, anything that I've messed up on, just let me know. Um, yeah, it's been a good week, y'all. Um, just trying to stay in there, trying to make it work. So if I can do anything for you, please reach out. Parents, thank you for all of your help. Thank you for your feedback, and just thank you for uh, taking care of your kids as they're home a lot more than you're used to. All right, y'all, peace out. I'll talk to you guys later.